talk about anything important. Uh, it still says waiting. Yeah. Do I have to? I probably have to press it in the live control room as well. No, I don't want to. I want to talk about the one that I already have here. It says. It says we're live here. Oh. Uh, okay, now we are. Now we right, are. Awesome. All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the latest episode of the Jeff and BFab podcast. Uh, I'm joined by BFab, who, you know, it would kind of be weird if he wasn't here. Hello. It would be weird, yeah. yeah. I thought you were firing me from the Jeff and BFab podcast. Yeah, the Jeff so. and BFab podcast, except there's no BFab and it's only Jeff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, I was asking for too much money. I told Jeff I wanted $100,000 a year and he wasn't cool with that. We settled at fifty thousand dollars, so thank you, Jeff, for you know, at least giving me fifty thousand yeah. dollars. Don't be surprised if Beefab gets fired before the next episode. He's got to earn his keep. All right. Yeah, I'm very, I'm very expensive. You know, call me a pricey uh, prostitute. You know, so. All right, we will call you that. Thank you. Uh, wait, I gotta change. Okay, there we go. That should be better, hopefully, as far as audio quality goes. Uh, anyway, hello everyone. Uh, we're here to talk about some of the latest news. Uh, as in latest, we mean like over the last several months, because uh, we haven't done one of these in a while. <laughs> but we'll talk about the actual latest news first, because, you know, that'll be interesting, right? Uh, Super Mario. Um, yeah. So that was, uh, that was kind of a surprising reveal. Uh, were you expecting this, Beefhead? So... Uh no, I mean, I never thought the Nintendo, we'd ever get any Nintendo sets in general, because I believe it was maybe Vibe who said that, that back in the day, Lego sued Nintendo, or was the other way around? Uh, I think it was... And for that reason, I never thought... I think, I thought it was happen. Nintendo suing Lego. I, I could be wrong, okay. I might have it backwards, but... Uh. Yeah, so one of them sued each other. Um, I was also reading an interview by, uh, I can't even say, it's a German website, uh, but they've been working on Mario products for the last four years. So this has taken a while. Yeah. The same person who's on the lead for Dimensions is on the same, you know, the same lead for uh, the Nintendo Mario and, sets, right? I mean, so, now that we've seen it, that makes a lot of sense, but... Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, but yes, this was unexpected. I don't think anybody saw this coming. Just Do Good did call it. He said, you know, we would be getting Nintendo, like, minifig series, but I don't believe that's going to happen either. We have the rumor for the blind bags, but I believe those are just going to be, like, add-ons, so. Yeah, I don't know what those are going to be, but it's, uh, it'll be interesting to see. Uh, hello to everyone in the chat real quick. We have Deppy Shop, Lego Boss, Butt Shop, Gallicade, Brick Hive is here, Brick Studios is here, and I believe I got everyone, but if I miss anyone, hello to you, too. Uh, but, yeah, so, what do you... What are your first thoughts on this Mario system? Oh, I was very disappointed. So yesterday, or whatever it was, two days ago, whenever they revealed the Mario thing and they had the little figure and they had some music playing in the background, I did not expect the, uh, I can't speak, I did not expect the things to end up looking like that. And then when, today, when we got, like, a kind of look at the sets, um, and I saw that it was actually the actual minifig, I was very disappointed. Here's the thing: I don't mind a fat minifig, but Mario has a square head. I mean, Is anybody else bothered by that? If I so I will say first of all, I will be very surprised if we don't eventually get Mario minifigures. And there was an interview done with one of the designers, which basically hinted at they're going to be doing more Mario stuff in the future. This isn't it. Uh, so yeah, but he also said that he does. He said he can't speak yeah. of anything. He didn't say that we would well, or we wouldn't. He just said he can't say anything. I mean, I I would be surprised if we don't. That's what I'll say. Yeah. Uh, but I think that this is if if this works exactly the way it does in the little trailer thing, it'll be. Uh, I, I think it'll be a relatively interesting system. Oh, I mean, like, there's no doubt that this thing is interesting. The thing is that. I don't feel like kids are really going to care for that. I, this is kind of like a gimmick thing. It's cool the first time you do it, maybe the second time, and then it kind of dies down and you really don't care about it anymore. I mean, I think even the fact that they were able to get screens into Lego bricks like this, uh, I think that that alone is something that could have potential for future uh, future products. Uh, it, I mean, the technology know. is cool, Jeff. Don't yeah. get me wrong, but they worked on this for four years. So, I mean, 
I mean, if they, you know, came back with some crappy product, you know, that'd be disappointing. I mean, it's an interesting product, but it just doesn't look good, in my opinion. I don't know. I, I am going to withhold full judgment until it's actually been released, and I've seen how well it works. But if it if it works as well as they show in the trailer, I think that it will be a successful product, and I appreciate it. But I don't I don't know if I'll buy it. I think that there must be a sensor on the bottom. I'm assuming there must be some microchips in the the other bricks. So like, if he lands on them, it can read it or whatever. Yeah. I'm assuming that's what's going on. So, um, that's cool technology. Like, I mean that that's very interesting. And that being said, we were looking at like the the ten dollar packs that had like ten to thirteen pieces. I believe this is the reason why they're bigger figures. Maybe they're so, like different variants that you don't get in the subs. So here's my guess. But it makes a lot more sense now. I don't. They, I don't know that this... It seems to me like this Mario figure is only going to be in one set, and it's going to be the $70 or €60 Euro 231 piece set. My guess is that yeah. Mario will be only in that set. And then, I don't know... Um, well, I was set. reading in the interview. In the interview, the guy said that Mario's the only one that has like the technology yeah. elements to him. With, like The pieces do, and then Mario. But none of the other characters have the technology aspect from what I got from the article. Yeah. So, so I don't... Mario's going to kind of be the main thing to get, so... I don't know what they'll do in the $10 sets. I don't know if it'll be other characters similar in style to Mario, but without the technology. That could be yeah interesting. But I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know if there's enough to go on based on this... Uh, like based on the images that we've gotten to figure out what all the sets are. I think, obviously, Bowser Jr. will be in one set... And yeah, like this, this right here in the front, the foreground here. Um, that's my guess is that this in the front here with Mario is the sixty dollar set. Yeah, I can see that. But and then I guess I don't know. This will be part of another one, and then uh, you know, uh, here's an image of the same thing. And I guess all of the other stuff is just over here, over and over again. Uh, hello, Shy. Welcome. But yeah, I, how's it going, Shy? It looks like there are a lot of new, interesting pieces. And regardless, but like, I hope that some of these new parts make it into other sets eventually, and don't just get used for just this gimmicky stuff. Yeah. But, yeah. No, I agree with you, hundred percent. I think that at the end of the day, it's uh, it's an interesting concept. But I feel like Lego fans aren't really accepting it. I've seen a lot of mixed opinions on the sets, right? Either people really hate them or they find it cool, but they're not making like a full judgment right now. Like for me, I thought minions were bad. So, so you think this is worse <laughs> These than These so far, I do. Okay. Um, and I never thought I would say that, but I didn't want to say in my video that uh, I think these were crap. But I think that still no matter what, I think the technology aspect of it is cool. So, you know. But, yeah, it, it'll... Uh, I'm interested to see uh, the actual sets and what the prices are like. Yeah, I mean, we already had kind of a preview of the prices. Here, let well, me no, show. I, I've, seen, the, I've seen the uh, price list, but I'm interested to see, like, what you get in each of those prices. Like, sort of value-wise, like, like what comes in each set at each price point. I believe. Okay, I get yeah. that. I get that. I think there's. So I have the price list pulled up. There's four ten dollar sets, which have like between ten and thirteen pieces. There's the one uh, hundred dollar set with a thousand and ten pieces. That's probably Bowser's Castle, if I had to guess. Uh, okay. Seventy dollars for four hundred sixty four pieces. I don't know what that'll be. Possibly. I don't know. Maybe I. I maybe one of the. Either the fifty dollars set or one of the thirty dollars sets will probably be the one with Bowser Jr. There are three thirty dollars sets, by the way, with uh, between one hundred thirty-two and two hundred seventeen pieces. One twenty dollars set with one hundred thirty-three pieces. One twenty dollars set with one hundred eighty pieces, and the fifty dollars set is four hundred sixty-eight pieces. Then there's this blind bag thing for three ninety-nine with twenty-two pieces. It'll be interesting to see what that is. Espe I, that one's definitely not going to have any like technology components because it's, you know, uh, it has twenty-two pieces compared to the. Uh, Nine ninety nine for eleven pieces or whatever. And yeah. the last thing is the starter set for sixty dollars with two hundred thirty one pieces. 
Uh, so, yeah. Okay. So I just saw a post from David Hall. He said, uh, this is kind of interesting. He said, got to interview a creative lead at Lego for Super Mario. One of the interesting standouts when I asked about the partnership between Lego and Nintendo is that Nintendo wanted normal Lego brick built sets. Yeah, I saw that too. Well, Lego wanted technology and, uh, uh, you know, in their sets. So if it was up to Nintendo, we would have probably had some nicer oh, sets. But no. Lego is trying to throw the technology aspect behind everything. I that's, think that, you know what I'm trying to get at? That's kinda? part of the reason that I am fairly certain that we will sooner or later get just regular Mario sets. I think they're doing this because they want to, because they feel like it'll be a, it's a good integration of this technology that they've been developing. And I think that once this yeah. technology thing has run its course, or, or maybe if they find something else to use it with, then they'll move into, I, I I also don't think that this and minifigure scale sets are mutually exclusive. So I think that they could have both at the same time. Yeah. Also, the announcement of this partnership sort of makes me wonder if uh, maybe the Legend of Zelda set has been approved. Okay. Just because, uh, I mean, they, they have the partnership now. I think the big thing last oh, time yeah, was yeah. they didn't have the partnership. And plus, Lego said that they'd be they. I can't wait to see what they can do with Nintendo in the future, or something like that. However, um, it, so, is Breath yeah. of the Wild stables in the next review period, or is it the one after? I think it's the next one. Is what the Breath of the Wild <coughs> stables Legend of Zelda set? Uh, that's under. Uh, I have no idea. I think it's in the next review period, and if it gets approved in Ratatouille, he doesn't. I'll be very disappointed. Ratatouille better be made. That's kind of my jam. Ratatouille was my childhood. That being said, for all this time, I thought the rat's name was Ratatouille when it wasn't. So his name is Remy. Uh, clearly, I wasn't. Uh... <laughs> well, I don't remember that. You weren't. So, uh, yeah. You're not that big of a fan, I guess. I guess not. Yeah, I'm a fake fan. Yeah. Fake fan. And Galaga says they have to keep yeah. doing more add-on sets for Mario, which I'm assuming they probably most of the first wave, at least, is probably add-on sets for that system. Yeah, I get it. But moving on to Mario, we kind of talked about it for a while. But yeah. uh, I guess final thoughts is I like the technology aspect of it, and I want to see the rest of the stuff before I make a final judgment. Again, I think the whole technology gimmick with Lego sets are cool, but it's not needed. I believe Lego thinks that technology needs to sell everything. Right now, you look at Ninjago. They don't have any technology incorporated, and Ninjago is doing better than Hidden Side, which has technology in there, right? So... Lego and Dimensions, look at Dimensions too. Dimensions flopped, right? It did well at first and then it flopped, which proves technology doesn't mean it's always going to be successful. But you look at Boost that did amazing for Lego. So you can't really tell how people are going to react to certain you know, technologies. So. I, I think the thing with Boost is it was... It, it's very popular in educational circuits, I think, right? Yeah. But I don't know. It didn't, uh, it didn't do too well in Walmart, I'll say. <laughs> it got clearanced a bit. <laughs> Jim Blade said he hates it, so... Mario? I'm assuming. Yeah. Mario! Yes, Mario. Alright. Well, that, that's enough Mario talk, I think. I, my opinion's basically the same as yours. I feel like I've covered it substantially. But, now I want to move on to uh, probably... probably my favorite reveal of the last several weeks, which was the Star Wars helmets. Uh, I... I don't know. I think I'm all in on both of them, and we'll be buying them. Not immediately. Also, it, so rumor has it that the 4th April set, there's going to be the Stormtrooper helmet, the Boba Fett helmet, a TIE Fighter pilot helmet, and Dio. And th hey, just so you know, the people can't see what we're talking about on the screen right now. It's just the Jeff and B-Fab podcast. Like. It should be switching over. I think there's a delay. They should be able to see it. Okay, let's see. But it, should, uh, it should show up. Oh, perfect. Yeah, okay. okay, sorry. So the uh, the Tie Fighter helmet uh, is supposed to be the fourth set there, and this might be the first wave of Star Wars sets where I actually buy the entire thing, because uh, so far I like both these helmets a lot. Dio is fantastic, and uh, yeah. So those are my yeah. Those are my basic thoughts. I like the, I think I like the Boba Fett one better, but the Stormtrooper helmet is also really cool. I know a lot of people have sort of dislike the Swarm Trooper helmet a little bit more, but I don't know. What do you think, Ethan? So, I like the Bubba Fett helmet. It looks cool. Um, it has 625 pieces, and it's going to retail for $70, which is 
Uh, wait, I mean, it's no, a good I, price per wait, piece. I read that it was sixty dollars. Oh, I heard seventy. Everyone said I seventy. Think, to me, seventy so I don't was. Know. I think seventy is the price of the Tie Fighter one, and these two are both sixty. I think. Well, sixty, seventy. Like no matter what you look at, these helmets they're actually really small. If you saw more of the official images, they're very small. They're using smaller pieces. I do appreciate that Lego is finally making stuff targeted for the eighteen plus market. But these sets are way too overpriced. I believe these should be like forty dollars. Just like they're small. You gotta look at them. They're they're freaking no. small. They're literally comparable to the other bots that go for forty dollars. So I've seen it and I, I I still appreciate both of them a lot. I'm buying both of them regardless. Even if they don't get discounted, uh, I probably will be buying them immediately. Yeah. Yeah, I mean I'm not I want them both also because I do have the Darth Vader bust. And I want to go get the suit, the Sith Trooper bus eventually. But um, even though these aren't bus, these are helmets. They can kind of go alongside with them. But I would have preferred bus in general. I wish it, there was a Bubba Fett bus and a, a Stormtrooper bus compared to their helmets on a stand. I feel like this was a missed opportunity. So, so um, you haven't even watched Star Wars though, so you should probably. Do I, it. I finished the Mandalorian, so you know I think I, that counts. Well, you should watch the movies. Because neither of these are from the Mandalorian, believe it or not. I, actually, I guess there were Stormtroopers, but Boba Fett was not the Mandalorian. I mean, the thing is, as much as the TV show was good for, um, you know, the Mandalorian, it, it has not convinced me to go watch Star Wars stuff. Well, so. w- we'll convince you. What will convince me? I don't know. I mean, I said, I've seen, I said like, we'll convince you. Oh, you'll convince yeah. me? Okay, I mean, you did that with the Mandalorian, so. So, watch Fair that. point. I think at the end of the day, as much as I think the helmets are all right, they're not really amazing for me. Like, they're not like the Dio. The second I saw the Dio, I'm like, I'm buying uh, this when it comes I, out. I for sure will because be the Dio. That's a fantastic set. The thing is, when Lego makes these huge buildable things like the Porg or BB-8 or R2-D2, those have stuck out for me, and I've always kind of went out of my way to buy those, you know, earlier. You know, not wait for them to go on clearance. So, like, those are like the first month buys for me, right? So I love those type of sets and stuff. Um, Dio has some cool play functions too. You can turn the little knob and his like head spins or whatever. Wait, which knob? Um, and there's a few other play oh. features. I think there's two different play features with two different knobs. Um, so for that reason, I appreciate it. It's, uh, it's a very nice uh, build. So. Yeah, I mean, I, I think they sort of nailed Dio here. So people have said that. His, Did we uh, lose Jack? What? Can you guys still hear me? Wait, can you not hear me? Well, I guess, uh, <laughs> I, I guess I lost Jeff. Can you guys hear me? Let me know if you guys can hear me, because I can't hear Jeff right now. We will switch to the backup microphone. Can you hear me now? Hello. Yes, I can. Correct. I don't know. My, my webcam oh, that welcome I back. the microphone of likes to die pretty often, so I, I don't know what's wrong with it, because it always okay, keeps I get working it. again I get eventually. It. Uh, it just uh, likes to uh, die out of it. But yeah, so rest in peace, microphone. If if I if you couldn't hear what I was saying, I was saying that I do also appreciate Dio quite a bit, and will definitely be buying it uh, before it retires. Yeah, no, for sure. I want to continue to keep buying these Star Wars like buildable uh, characters, and I do appreciate them. They look good. Um, so, so yeah, so uh, I, the thing that uh, the thing that I um, or the thing that I. Uh, like about the helmets is that they're sort of like obviously they can't do a entire Boba Fett a buildable character in the same scale as you know the droids, but uh, the helmets yeah. are sort of the closest thing that we can get, and uh, for that reason I'll be buying them. Yeah, for sure. Oh wait. So final thoughts of Star Wars stuff this April wave, this eight late April wave. It's actually pretty stellar, and I think I want most of the stuff on there. I don't think I'm going to be buying everything first day, but DL I will be trying to get within the first couple of weeks that it comes out. So, so, yeah. so are you? So you are planning to get the helmets eventually? Eventually, correct. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. What's up? On, what's uh? What's next up on our news list? Uh, we want to cover minions. Oh yeah. Like, or wait, no, Spider Spider Man probably. Actually, first? we'll do the. Fiat first, just because that's also very recent news. Uh, we're sort of going backwards okay. in news. Uh, I don't have too detailed thoughts about this one, but 
I don't know. I think that it looks okay. It looks like the Ouija from Cars. So there's that. It does, yes. I love the cool yellow color scheme. That's kind of uh, my thing. Yeah, so. I, I think I've seen people comment that, you know, maybe they should have just done it in, like, blue or... Uh, blue or uh, various other uh, colors just so that they wouldn't have to... Um, you know, so that they'd have the budget to be able to, like, make a new windscreen or whatever. Uh, or print more of the stuff. But, I love the color. I, I yeah, mean, I feel I, like I the feel color like, looks perfect. I, I feel like the cool yellow color was worth the compromise. It must be raining indoors at somebody's house. Yeah, I mean, I'm hearing a lot of feedback from Jeff's mic, but... A lot of feed... It's not bad. Oh, you know what? It might be... It might... Oh, man, I did hear it earlier. Here, let me move my laptop. It might actually be me, but before I uh, thought it was from Jeff, right. so... All right think I switched it properly so that the stream is hearing my good microphone because they don't hear the words that I say to you uh, like okay. it, it, I'm not picking up my hangout audio just yours and then they're hearing it through my uh, microphone so I don't know oh, it, okay. it might have also so, um, been negatively affected when uh, my camera died so there's also that it sounds like a fan. I wonder if it's coming from my uh, audio. It, it could be my computer because for some reason it uh, thinks that it's uh, dying. So the fans on my oh, computer okay. are going crazy for some reason. But yeah. Um. So I mean, yeah, it's a cool, it's a cool build. Um. I want to eventually get it. I have the uh, the VW, and I know they're different cars, but which, I feel like the VW and the which, Fiat uh, which VW? would look very nice together. There are two VWs. The VW Beetle, the the yeah. uh, baby blue. So you don't have the uh, yeah. you don't have the bus. Or the camper. Vehicle? No, I don't have the bus. No, no. Uh, you have it? No, no, I don't have any of the Creator Expert vehicles. But I will buy a DeLorean DMC12 Creator Expert set if they do that. I'll buy it the first day that it comes out. Uh, I hope they don't make one. Do, do you know what the DeLorean DMC12 is? Isn't that the stupid car? What, what stupid car? The gray one. <laughs> Uh, very descriptive, thank you. <laughs> apparently, Shy ordered this and he's waiting for it to come in, and Buttchop says that apparently Hoosier and friends are building this tonight. So. Okay. Don't leave the podcast to go watch that, though. That would be against the rules. That'd be a bad decision. Alright, so, next up, there is... There's only one Spider-Man news thing to cover, right? Correct. Yeah. Okay. Um, if if uh, the Venom Crawler was uh, revealed after the last podcast, well, it's already out. But here's a picture of it. If you've never seen it, uh, and it comes with a uh, Venom Iron Man and this little spider buggy thing, and it's kind of a bad set. Except I guess it's not a terrible value with thirty dollars. Those were my full thoughts. Do you have any uh, quick thoughts before you get into the actual news topic? I love every Spider-Man set, but I'm tired of Venom, even right. if it's a Venom Iron Man. So. <laughs> So you love this Spider-Man set still? Yes, I, I'm a nerd. I'm a Spider-Man fan. I will. Uh, okay. I would sell my soul for Spider-Man. So. Wait. Yeah. There's a lot of things you would sell your soul for, right there. Yeah, Spider-Man, Brad. Uh, yeah. Uh, what's the? It's the Venom. Oh, is it the Venomosaurus? Yeah, it is. All right. Correct. Yes, the Venomosaurus. Alright, here we go. This is the uh, Venomosaurus set. This was revealed at uh, New York Toy Fair, right? Or Correct, yeah. yes, it got revealed at New York Toy Fair. Pixel Images came out a day later. No, a couple days later, actually. Um, but I remember uh, some dude, I saw it live on a live stream. He ended up filming the whole set before Lego lifted their embargo, and it was great to see it early, live. And then the girl's like, you can't film that. It was great. Yeah, a lot of images of this leaked before it was supposed to. I think, didn't they just have yeah, it but not in the like same place as all the other side? Correct, and they said you can't take photos on it though, so. Yeah, but people did anyway. Correct, yeah. Alright, well, I, you're gonna love this set because it's a uh, Spider-Man set, but... I love it, yes, but the price I do not like, so. It, it's... I, I, it, this one's 80, right? Which, Correct, yeah. I have trouble seeing 80 for this one. It looks like this is a new spring-loaded missile sort of thing, which is interesting. Correct. Yep. Uh, Brand new. It's uh, so. th this spider vehicle sucks though, because uh, 
Really? I love what? the spider vehicle. The thing is, we don't get a lot of spider buggies, right? There, there, um, a lot, there's I a mean, spi I consider Wait, there's a spider buggy in the Venom Crawler set, which we just looked at. There's a spider buggy... Uh, I consider that like a dune buggy. Oh, so, if this is not... So, this is basically a spider monster truck. There, yeah, sure, we'll go with that. I like it. I really do like it a lot. I do. <laughs> okay, I, I'm, I'm happy for you, but... Uh, <laughs> I love this whole set. Um, the only thing I hate is I just keep getting Venom. That being said, this set or this is straight from a comic or something. Is oh yeah, it's from an old man. Here, I will find the Logan. Real quick, it's yeah. from an old man old Logan, Logan comic. Uh, old man yeah. Logan and T Rex. And well, here's a. I can't find the cover of the of the comic, but there's a lot of uh, oh here yeah, this might be it. Well, here here he is on one uh, on one comic cover, the Venomsaurus uh, from Old Man yeah. Logan comics. So interesting to see uh, a little bit of Wolverine in some form come into a set, but I don't know. Yeah, no, I agree. I think it's cool. I like the T Rex it. is kind of um, cool. For that that being, but I I don't. Oh yeah, the T Rex is cool. I, I yeah. definitely don't eighty dollars love it, uh, so I probably won't end up getting it. But I, I can respect it. I'm gonna end up buying these sets at any price. I mean, I buy all Spider Man sets. That being said, I'd love to get this at least on rollback, thirty percent off at Walmart. That'd be great. So. Also, the side build is kind of cool with the cracked egg. Uh, I know we've seen the crown pieces in that color before in some friend sets uh, for a similar effect. But, yeah, yeah, you know, it, it's decent. And the things that we haven't talked about yet are the figures. We have Venom. We have... Uh, is is there not a regular Spider-Man? No, I guess not. Uh, Oh, Spider-Man's on the side? No, there's what? only three figures. There's uh, Iron Spider. And, unless, maybe... I guess I'll look... Uh, look at the box art. I'm pretty sure Spider-Man's in there. So. Oh, he is. Okay. So he's just not in this image for some reason. Spider-Man is in the set, I guess. So there are four figures. Uh... Correct. So yeah. Spider Man, Spider Ham. Galligan said, "Are they stickers?" Yes. Yep, they're yeah. Stickers. There's lots they, of stickers. I would. I don't see them being clones. Uh, actually, no. Yeah, they're definitely stickers. I was gonna say these two didn't yeah. look. Uh, look like they might be printed, but it doesn't look like they are. Uh, I mean, Lego's not gonna just print those uh, for that. I side. mean, they I they are the same like design, them, so. uh, and there are like there are at least five of them. So I guess maybe there's a low chance that these ones, specifically the ones on the 2x2 two two curve slope, actually sort of look like... The more I look at them, the more they look like prints. But th these ones here in the back, those are definitely stickers. This is a sticker. If those are prints, I would be surprised, so... I think there's maybe a 20% chance that they're prints. But... I, I will say a 10%, but yeah. Yeah, so as far as the figures go, <laughs> uh, Spider-Ham, everyone's excited about that one. Uh, I don't, I don't love the head mold that they came up with for that. It's, it's okay, but, I mean, I don't know. I do like the updated Iron Spider though, and I think that's a cool design, based on the comics Iron Spider, of course. I could care less because they look very similar. I have the other Iron Spider. It's still a cool I mean, minifig to get. It is updated. I, I, um, I appreciate but, yeah. the extra. Like the old one looked almost too simplistic. This one sort of just looks a little bit more defined. Yeah, that's fair. That being said, Spider-Ham is the main draw for this set, so I'll be buying it for Spider-Ham. Well, I buy every Spider-Man set, but, you know, that's the main reason I want it, so. There are also some uh, black web pieces for Venom, which is a new thing for the set. Which, I'm kind of surprised Correct, it yeah. took them so long. They've been doing pretty much every set they've done is Venom, and they've had these uh, spider web pieces for, like, three years now. Yeah. But, yeah. So... Yeah, for sure. Uh, let's see. What's oh minions is next on our list of topics to cover. Banana, 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 banana. Be fab is rocking banana pajamas. <laughs> That's a live cover of uh, the song. By the so. way, did you realize that you called this? Uh, um, well, oh, never mind. Cruise laboratory. Yeah. Yes, it said that on the thing, the list that I originally looked at. That's what well, it no, said. The official so. name of this head is minions in minions in Cruise lab. But, but when I made the video, right? When I made the video, the set names were not out. It was basically 
uh, translated from a German website. So I basically used those names. Okay. So, yeah. Well, uh, yeah. I know you love the Fat Minion, uh, so I'm sure you'll be picking up this one. <laughs> Why is Lego making things too chunky? I'm anti-chunkiness. Well, no, no. so. uh, in at least the trailer for the movie, which I saw before I uh, before the movie onward, um, they, okay. they do... Uh, this guy is in the trailer, and he is much fatter than the other Minions for some reason. So... So, I was right about saying Weight Watchers. Yeah, I guess so. Blame, uh, don't blame Lego, blame the Minions movie. <laughs> Understandable. I, that being said, I still believe this, and I still hold by this, that the Mega Bloks Minion designs are way better. I think I disagree with that one. Maybe not, but probably. L look at them side to side, and you will see that Lego ones kind of look like crap compared to it. And I don't well, like siding with Mega know. Blocks for anything. The, LEGO, the so. Lego ones look Lego, and I think that that's a, uh, that's a good thing. Uh, uh, I think they look bad, but I like them better than Mario at this point. So yeah. So you'll buy all of these sets before you buy Mario, apparently. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah. I I do appreciate the uh, washing machine with the minions printed in there. Uh, that's kind of funny. Yeah. But other than I that, that yeah. I, I don't like this set that much. I think it's mediocre. I guess it's fine for twenty dollars, but this one is four plus. So. Yeah. Correct. I mean, I wish it was like a, a fifteen dollars set, but clearly because it's a four plus set, it's not yeah. going to be that cheap. So. And then there's this one, which is a thirty dollars four plus set. Uh, I I think just too good said he liked this plane, and I was like, eh, I don't know about that one. Uh, it's it's kind of like I said in my video, it's like somebody was flying and the plane all of a sudden blew, the back blew off it, and they're like, oh, what are we gonna do it's, now? I, so, I will say yeah. it's uh. In, it might not be as terrible as the Cars 2 uh, Spy Jet Escape plane. That one was kind of bad as well. And that one, uh, the, yeah. the interior was like multicolored ugly bricks on the inside. Um, yeah. Shy's definitely building a minion army, so he's in. Shy, you're building a minion army? Do you want to... I mean, okay, I get it, Shy. I get it. I see how this is. And Galagate agrees that the plane is too weird. It looks like that's a new piece back there, though. And they do have the printed peanuts bag. And, you know, pilot, whatever that guy's name is. It's like somebody was flying their plane and then somebody shot a missile and blew the plane out of the sky. And the, like, they're like, oh, no, we're going to die. And this is all we have left of the plane. So. Also, uh, as every excellent Lego set should, it includes a toilet on the inside. So... Why are minions taking dumps or Apparently, something? Like, what look, is going it's on? Got a, it's got a toilet. No. Perfect. Who's gonna use the? They can't even sit down on the toilet. Uh, they can. In order for them to stand on the toilet, they'd have to take the roof off, which is a very, uh, very safe thing to do <laughs> uh, on an airplane, uh, especially during. Flight. No privacy either. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter that uh, you lose all pressure in the cabin. That's not important. Minions don't need oxygen, I guess. <laughs> Welcome, Jawa Lord. They are minions, so. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's that set. It also includes a banana because that's important. Oh yeah. yeah. So yeah. I guess there's one minion set that hasn't been revealed yet. Oh. So there's that. Watch that be like a direct to consumer set. So I'll I'll lose it if they make a it's minion. It's definitely it's that. definitely retail exclusive between thirty and fifty dollars. Or never mind. It's oh, actually it might even be four plus. It's between the four plus ones and the regular ones. So oh, okay. it's either a small. Never mind. That means it's probably either. Maybe it is a minions battle pack, shy. <laughs> oh no! It's probably, no 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 no. It's probably under twenty dollars or a larger junior set, or maybe just something completely different. But unstoppable bike chase. Do you like this one? Uh, this one's alright. I mean, the bike looks quite accurate to the trailer from what I saw. Um, it looks like there's a printed skeleton head. I'm pretty sure that's printed. Uh, Gru, I believe Gru needed a minifig. That being said, after taking a better look at the Gru minifig, we was like, look at the kid version of him. I feel like they did an alright job, but, but I feel like in this case, I think this is it a, needed a molded head. I think head. this is a sticker, by the way. It looks like Really? It. That looks like a print. I mean, okay. there's also this on the side, which is probably a sticker as well, so I don't know. May, it might not be, well, but my vet would be a sticker. Regardless of that, the Gru, I feel like the Gru needed a, a minifig oh, head, and he needed shorter legs. A line. minifig head? He has a minifig head. I mean, a non-minifig head, you know. I think yeah. they just needed to print a nose, and it would have looked fine. 
like I mean, I want to see how that looks with somebody drawing a nose on it. I saw that somewhere, but I don't know how to find it again. But yeah, he looks all right. I mean, here's the thing: you get you get little Gru. Now, I love for them to make Despicable Me sets after this, right. and then end up making a molded Gru. That's what I love. I so. would definitely appreciate uh, Despicable Me sets. I don't think they would. I think after setting this precedent here, I don't think they would do a molded uh, head for Gru in a Despicable Me set. But you never know. Here's what they could do. They could use Hagrid's torso, and then, right. uh, you Actually, know, kind of... To... That, that could work well with the scale of these minions. It, and then it use, would, like, uh, one of the Simpsons well, Looney actually, Tunes head? No, so. Hagrid's... I don't think Hagrid's torso would work, actually, because his arms and legs are so skinny, and Hagrid's just uh, aren't. Yeah, no, I mean, like, yeah, but I feel like, okay, you could make it smaller, skinnier, whatever, but... I think it'd work perfect for him, in my opinion. So. They could do, like, regular minifigure legs and then, like, a molded torso if they wanted to go specialized yeah. like that. But anyway, uh, on to the next one, Minions Kung Fu Battle, because Minions do Kung Fu in Chinese New Year location. Everybody was Kung Fu fighting! Uh, this includes the most new colors of bananas in one set, I think, so that's a special award, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's the, there's a golden one, there's a red one, there's a tan one, there's a regular yellow one. It's very, uh, very fantastic. Yeah, it's, uh, it's something. So, so I sort of like... It's basically a Chinese New Year set, basically. <laughs> yeah, so. but a crappy one. Yeah, for sure. It, <laughs> <laughs> like, it's good enough for a minion set, but it's bad enough for a Chinese New Year set standard. Like, it has some decent new colors, like the tan staff and the bananas. Uh, and that print, if that's a print, that looks pretty okay. And I like this little dragon build, but other than that, like the the temple area is kind of bad. Uh, hello, Aiken and Jetfire and Brick Trooper. Welcome. But yeah, uh, oh, it also it includes your favorite uh, minion, so that's a plus. Oh yeah, I hate the fat <laughs> ones. I'm a fat shamer, guys. And last up is the actual good set uh, from the wave, and the one that I'll probably end up buying eventually. Uh, the Bubble of Minions. I you share the same opinion pretty much, right? Yeah, yeah, I like those. Um, they're not amazing, but I like them. So I mean, I I just like the buildable, like. I sort of moved into uh, the buildable characters or the best Lego sets sort of uh, mindset, and that's sort of continuing here. So I don't know. I like the ability for you to be able to build three. You can build three, even though they show two on there, right? Yeah. You can build three, and you can open up the back of the uh, minions <laughs> to see some gears and stuff on the inside. Yeah, I think. And I feel like that's a really cool concept. It kind of reminds me of that cute SpongeBob they made back in the day. Uh, yeah, I think the gears on the top rotate the eyes, right? Correct. Yeah. Okay, and then there's Kevin's with all. Like it. It, there's a lot of stickers on the inside, which is kind of, kind of interesting. Uh, but you would have to buy two sets in order to build all three if you wanted to do that. So. Correct. Lego is very smart. So. You know, uh, it's, I, I, I don't know. I, I appreciate uh, the fact that you can do that. I guess, but I sort of almost wish that they'd, because you have to. They, they have to include like quite a few extra parts in order for you to be able to do that. So. I, almost wish that there was just an additional set with Bob in it. So you could just buy both, but you know, whatever. It's not that big of a deal. But there's the interiors for all three, if you guys are interested. I, I think a tan is a new color. I'm just going to wait for it to go on clearance, you know? So. I think, uh, yeah, if it does on clearance, go on clearance, I might buy a second one, just for fun. But I think tan is the new color for the boomerang there. And yeah. that's. Also, it looks like the there might be some new parts here for the outside of these goggles. It looks like they're one seamless thing. And there's also a four by four round tile, which is interesting. But I think that's all I have to say about that. Yeah. Topic. Next news topic. Is this where I leave with a cover of the banana song that I Yeah sure. Wrap up this uh this segment. Banana 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 be feathers rocking banana pajamas. Uh -huh. Next uh Freestyle. what's next on our list? Did I miss? Uh, have we missed anything that I put in the thumbnail? I can't remember what the thumbnail is. Let's see. Let me look. Uh, I have the thumbnail. No, I don't have the thumbnail pulled up. I thought I did. So you had Mario, the Fiat, the the buildable heads, 
Minions, uh, Spider-Man. Yeah, that's basically the gist of everything. All right. uh, if somebody wants to so now, uh, bring up a... Since, since there's been quite a period of time since the last one, if you guys have anything, that, any Lego news from the past several months that you'd like to hear us uh, hear our thoughts on, uh, let us know in the chat and we'll answer. We'll address chat questions for the next uh, for the next little while. Sound good? Yeah, for sure. Okay, I just took out my AirPods. I, I don't want these. <laughs> <All right. laughs> and now I'm going to start eating my cake while you guys ask us our opinion on some things. All right. This is the uh, eating cake with beef hat segment of the show. Uh, yeah, a, this is the best part. Of it. It's a very, uh, very important tradition on the uh, Jeff and Beef Hat podcast here uh, that Beef Hat must eat cake. Yeah, this is a cookies and cream cake. So, how much did it cost? Mm, Five dollars. Five dollars. Yeah, that's more than four dollars. It is. It is less mm-hmm. than six. So, that is true. Yeah, I'm getting a deal there. For sure. <laughs> oh, there's also the uh, the steam drain promo. That was a thing. Did you get one? I did. I'm too broke, yeah. I know. Uh, I had. I'd almost sell my uh, my body to be able to afford anything. So. Jet says the. So I'm assuming you were right, and that ended up being a, a sticker. So. Uh, uh, what the plaque thing? Yep, one hundred percent was was uh was correct. Damn it! Yeah, uh, I actually have uh I have mine that I built right here. It's uh it's decent, pretty cool for a promo. It was free, so yeah. So the reason I thought it was a print was because the Star Wars anniversary had those type of prints. So that's why I thought that we have a print for like those. You know what I mean, I'm saying? I guess, but usually, usually if it's on a piece that also has studs on it. It's not a print. They've sort of changed that yeah. with this year with those jumper plates in the uh, Disney Princess one. But I guess uh, I guess the general rule is uh-huh. no longer completely accurate. But straight up, yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a cool promo, and I would recommend it. It's available for three more days if it isn't out yet. What? What? Three more days? Yeah, the fifteenth, first of the fifteenth. Oh, I know this. Why am I acting surprised? I don't know. I was confused too. <laughs> I'll see if it's still available. Real quick. Oh, there's also the free dots mini frame right now. Uh, if you uh, purchase it quickly before, uh, yes, it is still available. So. It. Uh, I think it's time. I'm super. I think it's time where I uh, ask my parents to borrow me some money. So. But yeah, I, I would recommend, as long as there is $100 worth of stuff that you want, I would recommend it, uh, Jet. And <laughs> but Chop was surprised when you thought it was a print uh, when all the other parts were obviously stickered. So. Yeah, I'm not intelligent sometimes. And Galligate thinks it's a nice little train. We talked about Disney Brickheads in the last episode, right? Correct, okay. yeah. Plus that's oh, way far back. Wait, so. did we... Did, was the Razor Crest revealed before the last episode? No, it wasn't. All right, no. uh, that's a good thing to talk about, right? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Uh, there was also the Mandalorian uh, brickheads. I don't think. I think those were also uh, unrevealed as of you know the last uh, episode. So I don't know. I, I think they're pretty decent brickheads. Are you buying them? Yes, I will. I'll be buying them. After watching The Mandalorian, I will be buying the Razor Crest, the uh, Brickheads, and the little set that's out now. The so. Battle Pack or the ATST? Oh, I forgot there was a Battle Pack. The Walker okay. and the ATST. The I, ATST and the Battle Pack. I'm, I might not get the ATST now that the Razor Crest exists. I probably will eventually, but uh, Razor Crest is higher priority. And I, I will be buying that as well, which I guess we probably should you know, show them that before we start saying that we'll buy the Razor Crest. But I, yeah. I'm buying the Brickheads as well. There's not uh, not too much super special about them, but you know, Baby Yoda looks better than I would have expected him to. And it's cool that he comes to the pod. Uh, he, he, I don't think he's as cute as they could have made I him. Mean, so. I, I don't know how they would have made it cuter. I was expecting it to look worse than this. I was expecting it to look basically just like Yoda. 
Was this where I say some stupid joke and say, uh, they should put my face on Baby Yoda? It would have been cuter. Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. No, like, here's the thing. Baby Yoda kept me watching. Baby Yoda was so cute, I had to keep watching him. It's kind of a bad reason to watch it. But, like, once I got to the third episode and, you know, something happened, I know there's people that have not seen it yet. Uh, with UK piece. Yeah. Um, so, after that episode, I had to keep watching. So, I, I never thought I'd finish The Mandalorian. After, wait, after the third episode? Correct. But, okay. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. I, okay, I'll leave it there because I don't want to spoil it accidentally for anyone in the chat. But <laughs> I, I, I'm confused. Uh, I'm confused at why it was the third episode, and you have to tell me later. But Razor Crest. I think I already told you, Jeff. Were you not listening to no, me? But I don't understand what event in the third episode it was. I can understand first. I'm pretty sure I texted you what it was. Right. Uh, I don't. I don't think you texted it to me. Maybe in a live stream you told me, but I don't know. Yeah, is this how you know Jeff doesn't listen to me? Come on, guys. I listen to you. Bro. This is embarrassing. Yeah. I should be offended. I should be offended. I listen to you all the time. Remember that uh, time in Jim Blade's live stream where you told them that you would, uh, that your next hit single would be uh, Sweet Pineapple Up Making? I listen to you there. Oh yeah, how's that going? Oh, wait, I have the audio done. I should send it to you. Uh, the oh yeah, but I need to see a sneak peek. You'll have to yeah. listen to the last verse, uh, and if if you want to do it again, you, I, I'll re uh, I'll redo the audio. But I had to like I had okay. to like slow you down and then pitch you up so that it would sound normal. Uh, so yeah, because you you were very off rhythm on that last verse. I thought I did good because they go Yeah. I don't know. But we'll we'll see. We can discuss that one after. But the Razor Crest. Okay. Um I like this ship a lot and it's probably one of the best Star Wars sets that has been made recently. Agreed, yeah. I, that being said, after seeing a bunch of these mocks like that Rich Bourget has done and everything, it, it's very hard to like fully love the set, right? I don't so. know. I, I I still do. I don't partially because I know I would never uh I never end up building one of those really large ones and I'd like to have my own razor crest, so Yeah. This uh this satisfies that. And this might be the first year in a long time when uh Star Wars sets have topped my uh want list for the entire year. Okay. Um like I think there's more Star Wars sets this year that I want than Ninjago sets. Um uh, and I may, uh, I may not buy all of the season twelve sets in favor of Star Wars, which. What? Oh, dang! That's surprising. I mean, uh, if if it comes down to it, uh, like I'll attempt to get the Ninjago sets uh, on clearance and stuff, but if it yeah. comes down to it, uh, Star Wars is uh, getting priority here. Especially... Do you know when our next clearance month is so I can go shopping again? What? When's our next clearance month? Our next week's clearance August? month. Okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if uh, if season twelve of Ninjago is uh, not good, then I uh, I may uh, stop with Ninjago altogether. Uh, so what? That'd be good. Dang, Ninjago's your life, yeah. <laughs> Forbidden Spidgets this season was not. It was really bad. Mm, that was all right. Uh, I don't know. That being said, I'm pretty sure the first episode leaked like two days ago. It was ago. in a different language, though. Oh, okay. I think it See, comes out on like the 21st in English somewhere. So, oh, okay. You don't have to wait too long. Let's see. Anyone uh, Anyone have anything else for us to talk about? Baby Yoda's cute. Cute there. Okay. I already agree with that. Let's see. Have you uh, have you watched anything else on Disney Plus worth watching? No, I'm thinking of canceling it now. I couldn't find anything else I wanted to see. You should watch. Uh, so I think I'm gonna cancel it. And, you should yeah. watch all the Star Wars movies before you do that. Uh, uh, it's worth it. Oh, there, I'll get back to there, you. There's some uh, there's some cool Endgame deleted scenes on there, including a uh, 
Ooh. Including a uh, alternate version of the Formir scene where uh, Hawkeye and Black Widow fight Thanos on Formir, or Thanos' army on Formir. Okay. So, watch that. Okay. Yeah. I might, I might. Uh, well, I guess uh, the other thing that we can discuss real briefly is uh, the fact that uh, New Mutants has been delayed again. I know I told you before, uh, before we started, but... Yeah, I was... Uh, Time to Die has also been delayed, so... What? Time to Die, James you Bond. You mean No Time to Die? Time to Die, No Time to Die, whatever it's called. I mean, they're, 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 they're opposites. Uh, it's either Time to Die or it isn't, so... Someone's gonna die, okay? Are you, does that make you feel better? Um... Uh, sure. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I just had to let you know. So. Okay. I'm glad. Also, uh, yeah, Mulan, yeah. Fast and Furious 9, and some other Disney movie that I was completely unfamiliar with is, uh, was also delayed. So, yeah. Can't wait for everyone to die. Everyone is dying. And this is when we sing the Billie Eilish song, you know? Something, something to die, I, I, you know, you know that song? Mm, no, but is that that is the that is the theme song of the movie, I think. But correct, yeah. Uh, Minions has not been uh, not been delayed yet. Neither is Black Widow. I'll be very mad if Black Widow gets delayed. Why would Minions get delayed? It's an animated show. Uh, it's a movie. Correct, but I feel like these are getting delayed because of filming. No, no, these are whatever. getting delayed. Be, uh, no, no time to die is already done. It's o it was only delayed because I want to make more money because people in China can't go watch it if they're dying. <laughs> Sorry. I should be laughing at that. Okay, and uh. that's the same reason all of these movies that I just listed are being delayed. The stuff that will be getting delayed because of filming is the stuff that's coming out next year and stuff. Like, oh, um, okay, I guess The next season of Survivor and The Amazing Race are both... Uh, filming is being delayed for both of those. Um, there, was something, there was some movie that was getting delayed uh, because of this. Uh, uh, oh, uh, Mission Impossible 7. That's that's what it was. Uh, okay. Filming for that it was supposed to be starting next week in Italy, and uh, they're kind of dying there too. So, um, yeah. But this is a great way to kill off the the uh, the the podcast. Everybody dies. You die, I die, yeah. and that's just happens, right? Well, I mean, the podcast can go on. It can just stay here live forever. If we just both drop dead right now, I wouldn't be able to press. The oh, that'd be great. Button. <laughs> so you never know. Time to die. I, 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 I. Oh, sorry, I sang. In case you couldn't tell. I couldn't tell. It was very difficult. Yeah. Yeah. It was good, though, sure. right? Okay, thank you. you. Say Appreciate so. it. Uh, Purple is back. Uh, Mission Impossible number seven now. Yes. Have you seen? Have you seen Mission Impossible, BFAB? Uh, one one of them, like Mission Impossible Five, I think Rogue I saw. Nation. I don't even remember the name. All I know is there's some hot, like British girl in there. I think. Okay. Was uh was Jeremy Renner in it? Not that I recall. If Jeremy Renner wasn't in it, then it wasn't four or five. It was one of the movies I watched. All I know is I've watched the Mission Impossible well, movie before. Okay. Yeah. I was looking forward to Mission Impossible 7, too. Fallout was very good. Yeah, I get that. And I get that. You haven't seen the movie, so you don't really get that. <laughs> Why are you calling me out, Joe? Well, because I have to. It's my job. Oh, okay. It, it was part of, the, uh, part of the contract. Oh, okay. That, I mean, 100%. That makes so much sense. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So... <laughs> Uh, how is smooth kale? Uh, not smooth. Smooth pineapple love making. We just went over this. You were... Wait, wait, no, wait, wait. <laughs> you know, let me finish. What I was gonna say. Yes, we just went over this. Yeah. I know. But uh, uh 
<laughs> When's the release date? That's what I was going to uh, ask I don't know you. when the release I, So I have the audio done. I just need to uh, get the video. I'm working on a video for my channel that's coming out tomorrow, hopefully, if all things go correctly. Uh, Is it Smooth Pineapple Love Making Part 2? No, because that wouldn't be going on my channel. And it, w and it oh, wouldn't okay. be coming out before uh, before Smooth Pineapple uh, Love Making. Uh, and it's actually, you got the name right. Is this like a top 10 video? No, it's uh, it's another video about Onward. Oh, okay. Yeah. Your first one did really well, yes. correct? Oh, okay. Awesome. And now uh, the movie's out and I've seen it. Doing another one. I think it's uh, probably less interesting than the first one, but uh, I don't need to tell you guys that. So just watch it anyway. Woohoo. Yeah. For uh, sure. So uh, Purple Stud asks when you're going to watch Trolls so that uh, we can get that Trolls video. Uh, do I really want to watch this? <laughs> no, you really don't. But yeah, it's for the uh, it's for the good of society and the internet. Oh, is that what yeah. it is? Hmm. We'll see if I end up watching it. Okay. That means you will, right? Correct. Not really. Uh -huh. Yeah, I gave me the answers. <laughs> uh, we'll see what happens, though. So. Okay. Is that a good answer, Gallagher? Sure. <laughs> so does anyone else have, yeah. uh, have suggestions for other things that we have yet to cover? Or is it time to end? Our Let's end see. We're at 56 minutes. Do we just kill it at an hour, yeah. I think? You know, perfect uh, I'm hour. thinking okay. unless unless someone has a good topic for us to uh, for us to cover. Uh, ends up taking us past an hour. We'll probably end in three minutes. I'd like to thank the Academy. So the Academy. Have you seen the movie Jojo Rabbit? I have not. Well, you should definitely be watching it. You, I, Does it look like I'd watch those type of movies? This. Yeah. I feel like you would love this movie. It's right up your alley. Jojo Rabbit. Yeah, it's the one about uh, a kid and his imaginary friend Hitler. Okay. Okay. That's all I need to tell you, and you'll want to watch it. No, uh, no, you haven't convinced me to watch it's, it. It's yet, directed sorry. by the same guy who uh, directed Thor Ragnarok. Oh, I fucking hated that what? movie. <laughs> I got, I got like a third way in, and I decided I wasn't gonna watch it anymore. What? So. How? I've never had to not like had to stop a Marvel movie and try to force myself to watch it. It was dreadful. Really? So. You just convinced me not to watch it, yes. How, how could you possibly hate Thor Ragnarok? It was bad. It was bad. Well, um... It, by the way, the same guy also directed the last episode of The Mandalorian, so... Oh, okay. I guess that might change it a bit. <laughs> but yeah, Thor Ragnarok sucks, how? so... I don't understand. Are you going to be watching the uh, fourth Thor movie? The the fourth Thor movie, A Love and Thunder? Yeah. Uh, Bale is in there, so maybe. Just because Christian Bale is in there. Yeah. We all love Christian Bale here, right? I mean, sure. He was in Ford vs. Ferrari. You don't like Christian Bale? He was in Ford vs. Ferrari, which is a good movie. I've never seen it. I uh, would also recommend it, but watch Jojo Rabbit first. And Trolls first, obviously, because Trolls is... The with, with a movie name called Jojo Rabbit, I don't know if that really uh, convinced me to want to watch it's, it. It's a good movie. It has a, uh, you know, the guy who plays Justin Hammer in Iron Man Two. Uh, an Iron Man Two. Okay, that dude, the dude that got fired or what? something. Justin Hammer wasn't that a dude that got fired? Uh, he was the like the bad guy, the businessman dude. I thought that was Whiplash. No. And you said Whip Iron Man. Whiplash thing? was the other bad guy. Uh, like, oh. Justin Hammer was the bad businessman dude. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, I mean, I haven't watched Actually, Iron Man. Actually, have you uh, have you been keeping up with Lego Masters? That's something we should have talked about. I have, yes. But uh, do we really want to spoil anything for people who haven't? Well, I think I mean, if uh, if you haven't watched the latest episode of Lego Masters, uh, you can uh, you can leave now. Uh, we're about to end, but we're going to talk about this real quick. Okay. So you've been warned, people. Um, what did you think of the last episode? You have. So I called who was gonna get kicked. I mean, um, they, they. Sorry, iceberg, but uh, your bridge was not good. So 
you know, I've met Iceberg, I'm friends with Iceberg, I met BX, whatever, right? Um, they're cool guys, but I literally called it. I was in a, in a hangout call with somebody, or two people, I don't know what it was. And I said, the next people that's going to get kicked out, once I saw the trailer I'm pretty for, sure I was there. Uh, yeah, then you were there then, okay. So I called it because, here's the thing, I know how Iceberg builds, and I know how Jermaine builds. Jermaine can basically build almost anything, but he's more of like a creative side compared to like, you know, building bridges and stuff. And Iceberg builds towers, right? Mm -hmm. Um, and so for that reason, I knew that they were going to get kicked out. I literally called it and I said, Iceberg and Jermaine are next because I know they can't build bridges. Well, I I um, was I was up on I was on the fence between them and Sam and Jessica because I they're they're artists. Yeah. I didn't think that they would be able to build super well. Also, yeah, I mean, I I just didn't like. Uh, I, I knew they weren't going to make it. It sounds to me to sounds like I'm being an asshole because I'm friends with Iceberg, but I didn't see them making it for the bridge one. So. Also, the uh, Aaron and Christian uh, had the stupidest uh, car design. Just gotta say, uh, one of them's an engineering teacher, isn't he? Oh uh, yeah, he teaches like engineering. To yeah. Kids so, uh, why did he think it was a good idea to put eight wheels on his car? I I don't understand. We'll blame Christian for this one, but it seems like Christian just does whatever. Well, I don't know. The uh... I was talking to a guy about this yesterday, and we're like, the only reason why Christian is there is just for his looks, you know? Eh, I don't know. Like, it seems like Aaron is doing most of the heavy work in general, too. Probably. So. It seems like... I don't know. It seems like Tyler does most of the work on his team as well. But I guess... Oh yeah, yeah. The wife just stands she, there. She, it seems like she ups with the creative process. Yeah, but she might throw out some ideas. But uh, you know, I don't know. At the end of the day, well, since you know we already warned people, uh, Boone ended up getting the golden brick. Boone and Mark. They, and, I feel uh, like they're gonna win the whole. They've thing. been on fire. I believe so too. Yeah. They, they, Especially after some conversations I've had with people. So. Do you know who wins now? I have an idea because of a secret source oh, yes. who might have been in this stream. Yeah, I think I know who your secret source is, but yeah. So I think I think that's all we have for today. Unless you have any uh, any last second comments. No, I think this is where we close it out. It's been a great podcast. We'll probably have another one in the next four months. <laughs> at some point, I'm actually uh, yeah. I'm actually uh, at home for the next uh, three weeks now because they're transitioning to online classes because everyone's dying apparently. Wait, you get off for three no, I, weeks? No, so I'm not off for three weeks. I'm on spring break this week, but it's been extended two days, and then I am starting online classes on the 18th through April 3rd at least. But you'll be at yeah, home, so right? Yeah, I'll be at home. So you can do a lot more streams. Though. Yeah, probably. I mean, I probably can't be up until, like, 2, because uh, I'll wake people up. But, you know, I, I will be available during normal time streams. Pur okay, sounds also, good. Uh, to address Purple Stud, we talked about Mario for like 15 minutes at the beginning of the podcast, so we're not going to go back to that topic. Sorry. <laughs> uh, but You didn't rewind what we yeah, thought. You, so. if, if you want to, uh, the podcast is about to end, and then it will process by YouTube, and you can go back and rewatch the beginning of the podcast. So, anyway, thank you guys for... Uh, hanging out with us and listening to our uh, wonderful podcast. Thank you, Beef, for joining me. And we'll see you guys all uh, the next time the podcast happens. Bye, everyone. Peace.